Scrapwood challenge, scrapwood challenge. It's crack, it's crack, it's firewood, but some of the wood is good. Every woodworker knows that you can't have too many clamps, but can you have too many vices? I already have a handful of vices installed in the workshop, but they all have different uses. There's the leg vice, tail vice, quick release vice, metalwork vice, and I've just picked up this blacksmithing vice that needs installing, and there's probably one or two more that I could dig out as well. Today I'm going to add a moxen vice to the collection. If you don't know what a moxen vice is, it's for clamping wider boards and raising the workpiece up to a more comfortable working height for tasks such as dovetailing. I'm using wooden screws for the vise, so the first job is to turn the blanks for those. One of those pieces had a knot in it, so I cut another one from another piece. I'll leave the blanks soaking in linseed oil overnight and that way I'll get cleaner threads when I come to cut them. Now I'll move on to making the jaws. These pieces are a lot more substantial than what I normally use in the scrap wood challenge but they are from the original scrap wood pile. They got discarded because this one's got a big crack in it, it's twisted. This one here is a nice piece but it has a knot in the middle. I need pieces that are long enough for the jaws and that's why I'm using them.
It's a bit hit and miss making threads with the cam floral. This one didn't turn out well at all and this one here turned out perfect. Luckily I have a few of these that I've made before and these are all very good. Those tenons ended up a little bit loose and that's because I'm rushing. It's getting late. I'm trying to get the video finished today because I'm going away for a few days tomorrow. And because those tenons are loose, I'm using epoxy so it fills the gap up more than what wood glue would. I've just cut this piece off camera and I'm gluing it on the back of the jaw and this will just help support the vise when it's clamped down.
These washers I've made before when I've made wooden nuts and bolts. There's not a lot to them and I'll use one for each screw. So let's put it together and give it a go. I reckon that's a great addition to the collection and I can't wait to use it in a project. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.